Okay. I made a trade with the guy for this rock. This rock is from New Zealand. It is Tomito Carcinus giganteus. It's a fairly large crab. It measures 8 inches across. You can see these points here, which I've never seen on a crab concretion before. But this is where the legs come out. There's four on this side, and there's four on that side. Fairly large rock, but uh, it's going to take a while. It'll be a lot of fun. And how I'm going to prep that, or what I'm going to prep it with, are my two basic tools an ME9100 and a Super Jack. Super Jack is for uh, lots and fast rock removal, and then I'll clean everything up with the ME9100. And there's my courage juice. Okay, it's about 30 minutes later or so. I did my exploratory dig, and it's hard to see, but there is a little tiny spot there where I hit crab carapace. So I stopped for now. That's actually a lot deeper than it looks. I've got a lot of rock to remove, so that's going to be quite boring, but that's the way it goes to get down to the, the finer type of work. Okay, another 20-25 minutes, and I took a close look at the spot where I hit the crab carapace, which is right there. Right there, that little tiny spot. And I can see it's got calcite on it, which is the preparator's worst nightmare, or certainly can be. So this probably will not end up as a pristine crab. But anyways, uh, I'm going to start exposing that carapace. See where it goes to. You can tell I've got a bowl shape. I dig this thing out, and that's the way I like to do it, so I can not run across the top of the legs by taking all the rock off the top at one time. There you have it, about 15 minutes or so worth of work with the ME9100 and you can clearly see that it is absolutely covered in calcite. So I'm basically going to have to prep it twice, once to prep out the crab and once to take off the calcite. Um, the legs may not be calcited but the carapace usually is on some of these, uh, the way it goes. This is almost four hours of work. Most of it is removing rock and I haven't done this for many months so my arm is aching, my hand is aching and I'm gonna call it quits with just under four hours worth of prep work and I'll get to it in a matter of another two or three days hopefully when my arm is back up to snuff. Okay. I've turned the concretion 180 degrees because I read the rock wrong. The back of the crab is usually the rounder part of the crab. This is the rounder part of the concretion, I mean. This is the square part of the concretion. This is usually, the square part is usually the front, usually the round part is the back, and this one is a little bit different. Anyways, um, I've taken rock off for not quite an hour, and there is the right claw, just barely exposed. So, 
it starts to get exciting now. I'm going to start rerunning into legs and claws and pincers and all kinds of good stuff. Let's hope it has a nice rear end. Lots of stuff going on now. Um, right here, some of the underneath part of the crab. So is right here part of part of the underneath side of the crab with a piece of leg right there and a piece of leg right there. As you can see we got working on the arms here. Um, trying to do this and hold the camera is kind of difficult but I'll do the best that I can. Anyways I'm at about six and a half maybe seven hours long ways to go but now it's getting fun because there's lots of stuff going on. Okay, this is at the seven hour mark, or pretty darn close. Not too bad for seven hours worth of work. And what I haven't mentioned yet is look at the rind on this rock. That orangey, reddish, light reddish, light orangish color that goes completely around the edge of the rock is gonna make a super nice frame for that rock. I'm one of those guys that after about the thousandth crab I prepped years ago I realized that the rock is just as important as the crab or the fossil that you happen to be working on. Um, and this is going to be a very nice rock once I smooth it out and it's uh, a long ways to go. Anyways, that's all I can do today. I can't prep like I used to. I don't have the concentrational powers that I used to when I was younger. So I'm going to call it quits at seven hours and attack it another day or two. Another four hours or close to four hours of prep work and even though the calcite isn't near as bad as I thought it was going to be the stickiness, especially on the legs, have uh, turned into a nightmare. A little bit of disarticulation on the tips of the legs. And here's the crab after a little bit more than 14 hours. Uh, lots of stickiness. It's, it's turning into a nightmare crab. And there's some things with the legs that are disarticulated. There's things that I'm not sure what's going on. It's uh, kind of bizarre. Um, find out in a few more hours and see whether I toss it aside or not. Not too happy with this so far. Well, it's definitely looking like a crab. Uh, lots of problems. Um, one leg, two leg, three leg, four leg. So there's four legs over here. I don't know what's going on here. It's parts of a crab, but for the life of me, I don't know what's going on here. The rear end looks looks to be blown up, but these may be just pieces of underneath of the ventral crab. I really don't know. Claws are coming out pretty nice. Um, was it near as much calcite as I thought, but some extremely sticky areas where I had to literally wear the rock off down to the shell, which is always bad. Um, here we have one leg, two leg, three leg, which turns into a mess, and these little pieces here, I'm, I'm pretty certain is what's left of the fourth leg. Uh, I have to take rock down here to find out. Um, I'm getting to the point where I can start contouring the rock to fit the crab. And after that, if I'm happy with it, I'll start smoothing out the rock. But right now there are some problems I've still got to figure out. And um, All you can do is with, is with what nature, weather nature gives you and um, hope for the best. Anyways... Uh, this is 20 and one half hours. There's probably 10 or 12 to go. That's just a guess. Um, and there you go. One crab so far. Just getting started. 
Here you can see where I've drawn a line on the edge of the rock with my air scribe, the ME 9100. Starting to smooth out the rock from that line and then I go all the way in. That took about 41, 42, 43 minutes, somewhere right around there. So, very time consuming. But as you can see, it makes the rock look really, really nice. Now I just gotta go completely around the crab. And getting down in there amongst those claws is going to be really tough and very slow. Wish me luck. That took me another 48 minutes, but at least I got leg number two exposed as, even though it was crushed and badly preserved at the end. Very tough job, but there's at least a leg, so that makes me happy. Okay, that's pretty much my smoothing process of smoothing out this rock. It was a little tougher than I thought so it took longer than I thought but that's basically par for course um, I'm gonna go over it with a fine tooth comb tomorrow and I'm also gonna clean up if you I don't know if you can see this or not but these little balls of calcite which are not everywhere but they're too dang many of them try to get rid of as many as I can before I clean up some stuff like these little doinks where I hit the carapace, which is really bad if you ask me, uh, with a little bit of acrylic. And then I'm going to sauce up this entire crab with what I call uh, Gliptol. It's old school. A lot of guys don't like it, uh, don't use it. It's not really very re ready available. But that's what I've been using for 30 years, and, and I like it, so that's what I use. Um, the crab will definitely be a lot different than this after I sauce it up. Okay, don't know if you can see me or not, but there's the crab after, well, not quite 40 hours of work. Lots of problems, lots of stickiness in the legs disarticulation, missing pieces, um, very sticky in places, very bad rear end, leg totally messed up, it's just a mess, I should just throw it away, but I won't. All in all, I think it's a pretty nice crab, so I don't know if I can do this right or not, but Oh, now there's no light. Jesus. Okay, I'm not very well at this because I'm just starting out. But there is a Tomito Carcinus Giganteus from New Zealand. From the Canterbury Formation. Miocene in age. And it's on to the next crab concretion. Over and out.